Hey guys, this is Jennifer with The Family Fudge, and on this channel, we like to share lots and lots of fun lunch ideas. But on today's video, we're gonna focus on just nut-free lunches, and I'm gonna share some of our favorite. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button, and go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Now let's get to those lunches. First up, we have lunch idea number one. So I actually packed these lunches last night, just to save a bit of time this morning, yet I'm still running late, I'm not sure how it happens. But anyway, um, all the kids are going to school today and they have to have a lunch with no nuts. They go to a nut-free school today. So I also had to pack them a snack today and an extra drink. So I'll go ahead and start with the snacks. Each one of the kids has their own little reusable snack bag. And today it's super simple with just some pirate booty. And then on to the lunches. Now all of these lunches are pretty much the same. So each of the kids do have this little spoon, fork, um, knife combo. So hopefully I'll get these back today. Let's see right in here. So each kid has an applesauce cup some par steamed broccoli. So this isn't completely raw, but it's not mushy either. It's somewhere in between. And then I also have some turkey cheese roll-ups. This is just turkey and cheese in a tortilla. And then this is a little container of the homemade ranch like I packed yesterday. They really like that and it went, out, it went over really well. So there's the main lunch. Now I'm also packing an apple juice today. These are the ones from Costco. They're 100% juice, no added sweetener, so I really like these. And of course, they'll also be packing their water bottles. Next up is lunch idea number two. Today is a really busy day and we're about to head out the door. The kids have school and then they have their gymnastics class and then maybe later we'll head to Costco. I'm not quite sure, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we packed in the lunches today. And today is sort of a make your own lunchable day. So I'll go ahead and show you what we packed. First off, we have some crackers. Now these are just the regular ones from Trader Joe's. We really like those ones. And then I have some slices of cheddar cheese, which I have cut into flower shapes with this cute little cutter that I found at Daiso. Now if you're curious, I do save the excess cheese sections and my one-year-old likes to snack on these. Let's see, we also have some rolled up smoked turkey and I like to put these on these cute little reusable picks. Now these ones are actually from the Dollar Tree and they're not sharp, so they're really safe for the kids. And I like that they keep the meat sort of rolled up and looking nice. And then I also have some grapes, some carrot sticks, and a little container of ranch dressing. The kids really like the ranch dressing, so I just send a little bit. And then they also have a juice today. I usually do juice on Tuesdays and Thursdays, kind of a special treat. This is the organic apple grape from Costco. And then for their treat, they have a fruit leather. Now this one is from Trader Joe's in the apple raspberry flavor. So they love these and I know they're gonna love this as well. Now pretty much all of these are the same, like I said. However, for my three-year-old, I do cut up her grapes. Um, grapes make me a little bit nervous with her because she doesn't usually slow down to eat. So definitely cut her grapes. Next is lunch number three. But today my older two kids have a field trip and my preschooler, she's staying with me, but I went ahead and made her a lunch just like the older kids anyway. And today I'm trying out a new thermos, these new thermoses that I've never tried before. So hopefully those will go over well. Now because I'm using the thermos today, I don't really have room in my lunch box for my regular containers. So instead I'm using the sandwich container and I'm dividing it with my silicone cups. So just like that. Now just like normal, these lunches are pretty similar. I just have a little bit of less food for my preschooler. So I'll go ahead and show you. In this container we have some grapes, some strawberries, and some cheese. Now this brown cheese I get from Costco, and it's very much like a baby bell cheese, except it doesn't have the wax wrapper. We have that. And then in the thermos today, we're trying out the Joe O's, which are very much like Spaghetti O's, but these are like the organic Trader Joe's version. So what I did was I started by taking all of my thermoses and I filled them up with boiling hot water. And I let it hang out there for about half an hour. Longer would have been okay, but I just don't have that much time. So 
Then, while that was happening, I heated up my Joe O's to almost boiling, like really, really hot. Then I dumped the water out of the thermoses and filled it with Joe O's, but it's not full. It's probably just about halfway full, because that's enough for my kids. And then I put the lid on tight. So these claim that they'll stay hot for up to five hours, but their lunch time is really just in three hours. So we will see. I'll, I'll ask them if it stayed warm or not. Okay, moving on. For their snack today, I just sent a little cereal bar. They don't need anything fancy for a snack today. These I get at Trader Joe's, and this is the mango flavor, which is their favorite. Today I'm also sending an apple juice box, and of course they'll have their water as well. And then in this little container, I just have some pretzels. These square pretzels fit so perfectly in these little containers, and I think it's really cute. And this keeps them from getting soggy, so I didn't put the pretzels in with, with these guys. And also, I've remembered to pack their little spoon fork deal. So, these are pretty much the same like I said. Moving on to lunch idea number four. And I'm also giving the thermoses another try. We used them last week and they worked out really well, but today I packed some meatballs with barbecue sauce. Now I went ahead and started by filling up the thermoses with hot boiling water first while I heated up the meatballs. I just put the meatballs in the microwave and heated them up as I normally would. But in a separate container, I heated up the barbecue sauce as well, and I got that really piping hot. When everything was ready, I dumped the water out of the thermos, put in my meatballs and my barbecue sauce, and then I screwed the lid on tight. So we'll see, I'll ask the kids how warm they are when they actually dig in. Now, other than that, I did kind of a snacky lunch here. We have some cheese that I made into some really cute little heart shapes. We have more cucumbers just like yesterday. I'm really trying to use them all up before they go bad. And then to go with that, I have a little container of ranch, my kids' favorite thing for veggies. Now, with our lunch today, I also packed a juice. My kids love the juice, but I try not to give it to them every day. But today they're having the apple grape. And for their little treat, I packed a fruit leather. This is the apple wild berry from Trader Joe's. And also in their lunch, I packed a fig bar. These actually have two inside and these are really good whole grain and there are actual figs inside the fig bar. Now, of course, the kids will also be packing their water bottles, but that is pretty much it. Oh, I did remember their spoons. We have the spoon fork knife combo right in there. Next up, lunch number five. First off, I have these little applesauce cups, but they're actually apple strawberry. And just so you guys know, these fit perfectly inside the little Ziploc lunch boxes. I just have them turned around so that you guys can actually see what they are. But before I close them up, I'm gonna go ahead and turn them around. They just fit perfectly. Now to go with that, I also packed some diced up pears some ranch and some broccoli. Now today's broccoli is fresh broccoli, so I don't know how, how well they'll do with that. Are you gonna eat it? Yeah. Yeah, I hope you do, because broccoli's good for you, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then today I have a special sandwich, because I made these sandwiches today with some bagel thins. Now I really like the bagel thins because they're a little bit more dense than regular bread, and they don't get as soggy as regular bread. So I just took a bagel thin, I put a thin layer of mayonnaise and mustard, some sliced cheddar cheese, some honey ham, and then I closed it up. And then I went ahead and cut them in half because it just fits perfectly inside this little container. And then I added this cute little pick. And when you stick it in the sandwich, it keeps all of the layers of the sandwich together. Just in case their lunchbox goes rolling in their backpack, the sandwich is not gonna fall apart. So I think that is everything that I packed today. I'll probably also give them a granola bar for their snack. And of course, they'll take their water as well. And finally, we have lunch idea number six. I have Lily with me here helping me pack lunches. Can you say hi? Hi. So we are about to head out the door, but before we do that, I'll go ahead and show you what I packed. Now today, I'm trying something different. I don't know if the kids will like it or not. Today, I'm packing cereal for lunch. Does it look good? Mm -hmm. Did you try the cereal before? Yeah. Yeah, these are the pumpkin O's, which are a lot like Cheerios, but the pumpkin variety. So, we'll see how that goes over. We have the pumpkin O's on this side, and some mandarin oranges on that side. 
I'm also packing a milk. This is nice and cold from my fridge. But this is actually shelf stable milk, so it's fine if it doesn't stay cold, it's totally fine. So I told the kids to use your straw, poke a hole right here, and then squeeze the milk in there and make yourself a bowl of cereal. So they may like it, I'm not quite sure. Sounds good to me though. Of course I also included a spoon today. And in this little container I have something new as well. These are little pepperoni bites. Now my kids normally love pepperoni, so I'm thinking that they're gonna like these. So in these guys, I have just the same thing, except I have a little bit less in Lily's. Lily, does this look like enough food for you? Mm -hmm. Do you think your tummy's gonna be full? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and package these up, and then when we get home, I will show you what we ended up with. Oh yes, and one more thing before I sign off because I'll probably get a lot of questions on the container. These containers are actually the Target store brand. Now normally I like to use the Ziploc ones or the Sistema ones, but they wouldn't really fit in the configuration today. So I'm trying out these new smaller Target brand ones and I just have to say that these guys are not, they're already not my favorite. They break really easily and the lid is actually kind of hard to get off. So I don't know if my preschooler will be able to do it by herself, but so yeah, definitely not my favorite lunch container. And that brings us to the question of the day. And that is, is your school nut free? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, friends, I hope you enjoyed these nut free lunches. If you did, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.